in this video i would like to show you the ideal technique of modified worn lint facial block place the patient in supine position fill the bd syringe with 4 ml local anesthetic and clean the area to be injected with biodine soaked swab And now position the needle perpendicularly to the lateral orbital rim. Insert the needle subcutaneously. Now gently aspirate the syringe slightly to check possible entry to the blood vessel. If no blood enters the syringe then slowly inject 2 ml solution and a blab of local anesthetic is raised near the lateral canthus the needle is then directed upwards and medially or downwards and medially parallel to the eyelid margins and 1 ml local anesthetic is injected and then in the other direction like here superior medially 1 ml is injected so V is formed in this modified technique that catches the fibers of the facial nerve 3 to 4 ml is typically more than sufficient in this modified worn lint technique it has got less complications now there are two types of facial anesthesia the one which i have shown worn lint technique now again we are showing you in another patient and the other technique is o'brien technique which blocks the facial nerve and all its branches the injection is given in the front of the tragus but uh, it has got more complications and the uh, technique which i am showing is the modified worn lint technique in which facial nerve branches to the upper and lower eyelids are anesthetized facial block is usually indicated in oculoplastic procedures like blepharoplasty lid procedures uh, with old retrobulbar blocks, uh, facial blocks were required and in uncooperative patients uh, with excessive blinking and forceful squeezing of the lids, uh, facial blocks are required. Now one lint facial block is uh, more effective, it has got less complications and it is favored by most uh, ophthalmologists as compared to the O'Brien technique. So I have shown one link technique on two patients thank you very much